added value of the PVS uh, pathway over other evaluation and audit systems is probably can be defined in two ways. The first method is that it's very much a participatory approach. So it's something that is not confrontational. It's something that we work with the countries in terms of building on their existing priorities and structure. So we really take them into the future. And I think that's a really important point that we work in a participatory fashion. And I think the other method, which we shouldn't forget, is that it is unique. It is the only method of assessment of the veterinary services and the broad animal health structure and systems of the national countries. I think there are many concrete examples of where PVS missions have led to a very significant improvement and development uh, of the country. And that applies in two ways in the sense that both within the country in greater advocacy and promotion within the country, but also in terms of international donors. To take a specific concrete example, Indonesia um, is a country that I've worked in uh, for a significant amount of time in the last few years. There they had a, a developed veterinary service, but one that was at a low level, a low ebb. And as a consequence of the PVS evaluation and then gap analysis process, they were able to benefit from a, a very long-term uh, six-year development bilateral program, which was very definitely a derivative of the PVS process. And that looked at all sorts of issues of policy, of resourcing, of management of infrastructure, and really greater preparedness for emergency uh, and emerging infectious diseases, both in the animal health context, but also crossing over into the human, the One Health context as well. So, so tremendous benefit in that country and we can mention other countries also.